for Viet comrades. I just realized I forgot to alert everyone on something horrible I happened. Uh, not really horrible, but uh, a lot of pain. Uh, I've done it. I've talked about it on my Twitter. But I realize that not a lot of you guys are on my Twitter, which is so uh, unfortunate because I do lots of giveaways on my Twitter. Um, but I got these fancy new needles from CVS. Fancy there. They were a dollar each. Which, if anyone knows anything about needles, they're usually 10 cents each. So, very expensive needle. And syringe kit thing. Um, very expensive. But, come highly recommended from my friends. I figured I'd give it a try. Well, this needle seemed really flimsy. It was very, very hard to open the cap, which was a little weird. And then it kept shaking and wobbling and all together very, very flimsy seeming. But I was like, well, you know, I'll try it, I'll try it. I should not have tried it. Um, needle broke off in my leg. Didn't get any of the testosterone in there. It just broke off and then loose testosterone all over my legs. My leg was sticky, oily mess. Not sticky, more oily mess. And I had a needle stuck in my leg. So extreme pain, oil, I can't grip it because there's oil everywhere, you know. Oh, it was a disaster. And I ended up still having to stab myself because I had to get my shot for the day, you know. Basically, $10 worth of medication, ruined. Uh, I wasn't able to salvage more than, like, a little drop. Uh, needle broke off. So expensive needle, ruined. And... Extreme pain! I mean, giving myself my shots hurts a lot. A lot. So these needles are supposed to be less painful. They're made for this. They're supposed to be a lot less painful. No. Though that's probably just because it broke off. But, um... So, very, 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 very painful. Um, I do not recommend them. Maybe I just had a bad one, but I highly do not recommend them. There are certain ones where they have a cap and then there's a little part sticking out, which is pressed down and pull up the child safety lock. Whatever it is about that, I touch, uh, it makes it extremely flimsy because it wiggles the needle so it can pop over the top. And... I don't know if I just got a really bad one or something, because my friends even said that theirs usually doesn't have a child safety lock. But I bought two, and both of them had it. So, I do not recommend those whatsoever. Um, I mean, there's always bad ones and things, so I'm not going to go blame the company and go complain. I mean, I complain on Twitter, but I'm not going to be like, CVS, reimburse me, you sold me a crappy needle. I'm not going to throw a big fit. I mean, it was only a dollar, which is expensive as fuck for a needle, as I said. But, it's not enough that I'd be throwing a big fit, absolutely have to get it done. So, you know. Um. But, regardless, it hurt like fucking hell. And my leg is in extreme pain, and I have a little bit of a welt growing. Yeah, I'm sure. I haven't actually looked, but I'm sure I do have a welt growing, because it fucking feels risen and stuff. I would, I'll post a picture on Twitter if it actually is that bad. But it feels horrible. And that's all that really matters right now. So much pain. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's luck or something. But every single time I give myself a shot in my right leg, it's extreme pain. And the fact that the needle broke off doesn't help. But I don't know what it is about maybe the muscle or something. Because my left leg, it hurts, but it hurts, whatever. Right leg, I always am in so much pain, and I don't know if it's a different type of muscle, or maybe it's because I'm coming at my right hand, and, and so it's more pressure on it. I'm not sure. I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. People do insulin or anything like that. I mean, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. I don't think insulin would have the same effect. 
no, because you do it in the stomach. But it might have certain sides stronger than others. I don't know. Or anyone who does intermuscular, I'd love to hear about that, especially. Um, so that happened. And it hurt like a motherfucking bitch. Bitch. <laughs> but, um, also was dumb. I left my credit card at home. Debit card. At home. Because I had to take it out of my car to pay the Wi-Fi guy. And if you know anything about me, I never, ever, ever, ever take my card out of my car. Because I know I'll forget it otherwise. My ID. My, my debit card, all my cash, everything I keep in my car, which a lot of people say is not safe, but it's the only way I knew I will never forget it anywhere. Well, it wasn't there, and I forgot that I had taken it out, obviously. So I left my crap, my card at him. Lunch break came, I was fucking starving, and then I realized, crap, I don't have my card. So I was like, well, I have cash left over. No, nope. I use that to help out a friend. So I had nothing. Thankfully, my amazing roommates came over with Whataburger, and I love them to death for that. They just happened to be nearby. It took about 20 minutes, but they weren't near enough that they were able to do, which is awesome. Obviously awesome. Got some food and everything, and it was good. It was good. Um, but... My leg is still extremely sore, running around all day did not help. You know, sometimes it helps to flex the muscle a bit. No, no. Um, nothing helps. My leg is just gonna be a sore little motherfucker. Yay. Bitch. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can show you the horror monstrosity of what's left of the needle maybe later. It didn't really break, it more of folded in. The child safety lock is this like little shield on it. That you press down on and it pops open. Well, it's supposed to fold one way, it popped the other way, and it just it's very hard to explain. But basically, it broke off that's the easiest way of explaining it. And it hurt, obviously. But yeah, I had to dig the needle out of my leg because it would not come out, and there was an oily mess, so it would not be easy to dig out. So that was fucking hell. Um. I do not recommend these needles. Uh, maybe I just had a bad one, I don't know, but I still do not recommend them. They're supposed to be half as painful, half as painful, so it's like, you know, not really bad. But, I don't know. Um, they seem more painful to me, but I get the point. Uh, they're a lot sharper, so they go in easier. Um, or mine, mine I have is pretty dull, so it hurts a lot to get it in your skin because, you know, you have to like, put a lot of pressure on it. Um, so maybe that was my issue. I'm used to using a lot of pressure, and so that's what broke it. I'm not really sure. All I knew was it hurt like a motherfucker, and I don't usually cuss too much. I mean, I do, but I try not to in, like, public and stuff, because, you know, I'm proper and whatever else. I was raised on ballroom dancing and things like that, so I try to be proper, but... Oh, it was so bad, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, my gosh. It was bad. Very, very, very bad. Well, anyway, I'll do a picture on Twitter if, uh, if it looks that bad. Honestly, it may not be that bad. It just feels bad. Maybe in a few days, I'll actually get the big sore. But whatever, whatever. TF Com signing off. Bye.